Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I wanna to show you how you can both raise and lower your hand in Microsoft Teams. Now it seems like a pretty simple feature to raise then lower your hand, but I'm gonna get into all the detail of it so you'll completely understand how it works. Now as full disclosure, before we jump into this, I work at Microsoft as a full-time employee. First off, why would you want to raise your hand in a Microsoft Teams meeting? Well, just like in real life, when you have a big group discussion and a very active conversation going on, if you wanna to contribute to that conversation, sometimes it's hard to jump in and you don't wanna interrupt or disrupt the ongoing conversation. So what you could do in Microsoft Teams is you raise your hand and that gets the presenter's attention, that gets other attendee attention, and then you'll have the opportunity to contribute. So anyway, why don't we jump on the PC and I'll show you all about raising and lowering your hand in Teams. Here I am in Microsoft Teams in the desktop app and I am in a meeting. My name is Kevin, here I am. And I have two other attendees. I have Adele in the meeting and Emily is in the meeting as well. And today we're talking about how to win friends and influence people. I'm sure that both Adele and Emily are gonna have a lot of information to share because I'm always looking for new ways to win friends. Now, when I'm in Microsoft Teams here, I'm gonna move my mouse over the main interface and this bar appears down at the bottom. Now to raise and lower my hand, if you look at this bar here, you'll see an icon that looks like a hand. If I click on this, this will raise my hand and you'll see that the button is now highlighted while my hand is up. If I click on it again, this will lower my hand. So that's really how easy it is to raise and then to lower your hand. Now let's say that I am the organizer of this meeting or I'm presenting, how do I know if someone else has raised their hand? So here I am in the meeting, Emily and Adele are both in my meeting. Uh, so maybe I'm going on, I'm presenting and Adele might have a question that she wants to ask. So Adele is gonna go ahead and raise her hand. So now Adele has raised her hand and so what you could see here is when she raises her hand, a notification appears pointing down at the participant uh, toggle here. And I also see a badge icon indicating how many hands are raised. Additionally, in the participant view here, I also see a raised hand next to Adele's name. And this is one other way for me to know that Adele has her hand up. Now what I can do is I'm gonna click into the participant pane. And when I click into the participant pane here, I could see all the people People who are part of the meeting and here too I see that Adele has her hand up and so let's say maybe there's a break in the conversation or Emily and I are speaking and Adele wants to ask a question I could look at the participant pane and then give Adele a chance to speak so now let's say Adele has asked her question she's gonna go ahead and lower her hand now let's say I'm going into a monologue about how to win friends and influence people and, and maybe Emily you know has a point she wants to make or maybe she doesn't agree with something I'm saying so now Emily is going to raise her hand now one of the things that you see happened is as soon as Emily raises her hand she jumped above Adele in the list so here I'm gonna remove she's gonna drop her hand again she goes back to the bottom here Emily raises her hand again and she moves up. Now one thing is imagine Emily had a question and maybe I just keep talking and I, I haven't addressed her question yet and then maybe Adele has a question too. So now Adele is going to raise her hand. So now both Emily and Adele have their hands up. What Microsoft Teams did here is Whoever raises their hand first, they show up at the top of the list. Whoever raised the hand next shows up next, and so on and so forth. So the person who's had their hand raised the longest appears at the top of the list, and then whoever has had their hand raised for the shortest amount of time appears at the bottom of the list. So one way to think of it is if you're a presenter, you probably wanna address the question or the person at the top of the list and then work your way down. It's the fair way to do it. Now let's say that both Emily and Adele have a chance to ask their question. So maybe Adele, you know, she's asked her question and I've responded to it. And so then Adele lowers her hand. And now let's say I move on to Emily and she also had a chance to ask her question and I responded to it. But let's say that Emily forgets to lower her hand. Now if I look at the participant pane, I might think Emily has another question. But what I can do is let's say she just finished asking her question. What I could do is if I hover over her name and then I right click on it, as the organizer or presenter of this meeting, what I can do is I can lower Emily's hand. So here I'm gonna go ahead and lower it, and now we're back to no one having their hand up. 
With my YouTube channel, I frequently hear feedback from people telling me how features can be improved or issues that people are having. Well, the good news is Microsoft Teams has a website where you can submit feedback. The website is microsoftteams.uservoice.com. What you could do is you could submit bugs, you could submit feature requests. With raising hands, I wanted to show you examples of some requests that people have submitted. One example is rather than having the uh, the person with their hand raised or the organizer lower the person's hand. Well, if you raise your hand and you start speaking, Teams should be smart enough to then automatically lower your hand. This is one example of a feature request that's come in. Another example is when you're in presentation mode in Microsoft Teams, you might miss that someone has their hand raised. It should be visible to you even when you're presenting that someone has their hand raised. I found that typically other attendees in the meeting will say, oh, so-and-so has a question, but it'd be nice if Teams made this even more visible. Now these are just two examples of different feature requests on the user voice site. If any of these ideas resonate with you, what you could do is when you search for an idea, you could then click on vote and you can basically upvote it, similar to what you do on Reddit when there's a post that you really like. And if none of, if let's say you have a feature idea that doesn't yet exist on user voice, what you could do is you could also submit an entirely new idea. Here in this example, when you read a feature request, what you could do is you could also add some additional details on it. So let's say that someone brought up this point and then you want to add some additional color or maybe some additional context to the ask, you can do that right here. All right, well that was a very quick example of how you could use the hand raise and hand lower feature in Microsoft Teams. If you think you might use the hand raise or hand lower feature in Microsoft Teams, please give this video a thumbs up. If you want to see future videos like this, please hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And lastly, if you have any other ideas that you want to see me cover on this channel, please leave a comment down below. I read them all and I'll add it to my list of videos to create. All right, well that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed and hope to see you next time. Bye.